Hello everybody, thanks for watching this video. Now, you might know that I like to create mixed pots of houseplants like this one right here, with a whole bunch of different epiphyte cuttings all growing together at the bottom of one big established plant, which is in this case this Philodendron Campus Portoanum. And in time, if all goes well, all these climbers will intertwine and become a full pot of epiphytes. But today I want to start a completely new pot from scratch. So let's get started right away. <laughs> so this time we start with a blank canvas, which is this big pot that I filled with a well-draining aroid mix. And then I also have this medium-sized moss pole that will go in the center of the pot before I put any cuttings in it, of course. And here we are with the moss pole firmly pushed into the aroid mix. Next, I need a bunch of epiphyte cuttings and first up are these two rooted Philodendron Medisa cuttings that I tried to separate, but they had become Siamese twins, so I will keep them together. I also have this Philodendron Parvilobum Equagenera cutting and finally a Philodendron Campus Portoanum cutting from the mother plant that you just saw at the beginning of this video. Before I start planting I prepared some pieces of adhesive velcro tape and then I put the first round of four cuttings in a circle very close to the moss pole because these will be the biggest cuttings of the mixed pot that I want to start climbing up the moss pole as soon as possible. And the idea is that after this inner circle of big cuttings, I will put an outer circle of smaller cuttings that I will give time to establish themselves in the pot before guiding them up the moss pole as well. Alright, this is the result of the first circle of cuttings and there is quite a bit of space left in the pot for a second batch of cuttings. And for the second circle, we first have a basic heart-shaped leaf philodendron cutting, then I got some philodendron villamagense pangui babies, next up are some SIBO blue cuttings, and finally I also have a bunch of epipremnum pinatum cuttings. And so these cuttings I'm planting further away from the moss pole. And once they will start vining, I will guide them up the moss pole as well. Now, you might say that's way too many plants for this single pot. But in my experience, not all the cuttings will necessarily make it. So I prefer to start off with a decent amount of plants. And if they all make it, I can still take some plants out of the pot. Okay, and the final result looks like this, at least for now, because this is obviously a long-term project, so perhaps in one year time this pot might already look quite differently, with all these cuttings climbing up, looking for light and looking for the top of the moss pole. I know that we all have this kind of habit to put just one single plant in a pot. But if you have a lot of cuttings, I think this is a great way to save space and to give as many cuttings as possible a shot at becoming a beautiful established plant. It's also a matter of making the most of one single moss pole, because you'll have several plants attaching themselves on one and the same pole. Alright, that's all for today's video. Thanks again for watching it. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking it and or subscribing to my channel. For now, I wish you a very nice day and I hope to see you back soon on my channel. Bye bye.